Hi guys, um, so this week I'm going to be talking about um, upgrading uh, your project to a new version of Unity. Um, I'm going to go through three, three points of development that I've um, completed this week for Commander Jack Respawn. Um, and um, yep, that's, that's it. So first off, what I'll talk about is um, kind of the uh, breakpoints and um, upgrading, say, uh, Commander Jack Respawn was originally on Unity 5. So that was quite a few years ago, about eight years ago, something very old version of Unity. So now we're in 2019. Um, and I, I thought, you know, it's best to upgrade the code base so that we've got something to um, to to use that's that's new. So I can come back to it and um, update it and to use new features of Unity um, at some point. So, um, yeah, so what's happened with that is uh, there were a few bugs once I upgraded and um, I had to fix those bugs. But um, th there's about something like 800 warnings as well. So um, stuff like a game mo game object dot set active um, used to be called game game object dot active equals false or true, but now it's game object dot set active in brackets the parameters false or true. So um, these are just warnings. It doesn't stop the game from doing stuff um, and running normally. Is you know because they're it still still works. There's still a call. It's still converted to the new thing. Um, just not in code's not rewritten. If I go and edit that line of code, it probably will ask to upgrade the, the API um, um, for the project. And when you do that, it just basically changes that one line to dot set, set active uh, in brackets, true or false. Um, that happened once. Um, what else is there? So yeah, so I, I found I found that the tags um, didn't carry across from the old Unity to the new Unity uh, properly. I had to go into the tag manager. I think the index was one ahead rather than, I think, um, yeah, one, it, it, it was originally, um, so the index originally was one less and it's been brought one ahead. So the only, the way to solve it was just going into the tags, tag manager and um, just refreshing it by adding one and then deleting one and then going back into the game you know pressing save project file save project restarting the game tags were work worked again um so so that's all good um so that that's the the kind of first point first few points about upgrading from an old version of unity to a new one it's really not like a huge deal unity seems to be very very good with this um so i haven't really got much experience upgrading other projects but um, other kind of um, code bases and things, but Commander Jack it made was it made in Unity five and it works in Unity two thousand nineteen, um, and uh, yeah, quite quite pleased with that really. There are there are some some things like if I um, what, that I would recommend um, when you're if you're in a situation like where I'm at, where you've got a an old code base and you're upgrading it to a new one. Um, if you want to add new features to the old code base, the old code base would be using like a, for instance, we were using a different Unity UI system that we bought off the asset store. Um, and and I wanted to add a new button to it. So I, I thought, well, the easiest way is just to use Unity's Canvas system, and which is kind of newer, um, and, and put the button in that way. But what I found was that um, that, that seemed incompatible with the old system. So Every time I tried to write code using new features of Unity, it was incompatible with the um, all of the code base of the old version, the code that we wrote. So um, I I tend to now, when I'm making updates to Commander Jet Respawn, I tend to use the old systems that we built. And if we were making a new bottle, button, we use the old UI button. Um, class rather than using a UI button from the canvas, for instance, from Unity, because um, it just it works. It ends up causing less problems because of the dependencies and things like that. So, yeah, I, 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 a good tip is to perhaps I mean do, try it yourself. But what I've experienced so far is to create new 
features on an old code base use the old code bases plugins and methodologies rather than the new code base and that goes also for um yeah yeah they like even yeah there are, when you're updating a code anyone also i didn't write most of this code base the old version of the code base so for com the original command commander jack so um editing that code base i thought you know i can go away and write my own code and make that kind of join up but uh, because it's easier because i understand it but actually when i do go and write my own code in some cases i have to it i have to i find out that the way i've written it does not interact with the um the old system in the way it should do um even though the old system is harder for me to understand because i didn't write it i have to like break point through and and kind of try to understand it um it, it's it's very very much worthwhile going in and um, trying to understand it first and then writing uh, like deeply understanding it um, and then writing your new feature um, because it, otherwise you you'll likely end up rewriting parts of the new code 